So after the Yannick Sinner failed drug test, news has been broken over the last couple of hours. A lot of players have had their say, and there's a bit of a fallout from this. Of course, a lot of comparisons with what happened with Simona Halep and whether or not this was fair. You can let me know down in the comments below what you think, but let's go have a look at the player reactions for this. So starting with Denis Shapovalov, he was one of the first people to respond with two different tweets. One saying, can't imagine what every other player that got banned for contaminated substances is feeling right now. And then again with another response saying, different rules for different players. So read into that what you will, but it doesn't seem like Shapo's too happy with what's been going on. Nick Kyrgios, he's also had his say, saying, ridiculous whether it was accidental or planned, you get tested twice with a banned steroid substance, you should be gone for two years. Your performance was enhanced. Massage cream, yeah, nice. So it feels like both Shapovalov and Kyrgios are on the same page here with you know, positive is positive. Kyrgios also saying, accidental, you truly believe that the physio rubbed physio cream onto a cut that made him fail two anabolic steroid tests? Come on, potato. And that was in response to another tweet that was defending Sinner. Liam Brody's also come out and said, whether Sinner was doping on not, this is not right. Plenty of players go through the same thing and have to wait months or years for their innocence to be declared. Not a good look. Tennis Sangrin, another one who's responded to the situation, saying, this is ridiculous, LMFAO, secondhand steroids through a massage. ATP always looks out for their money makers. Good for business, bad for transparency and integrity. The ATP also came out with a statement, so they've responded to the whole case and said, we are encouraged that no fault or negligence has been found on Yannick's part. We would also like to acknowledge the robustness of the investigation process and independent evaluation of the facts under the tennis anti-doping program, which has allowed him to continue competing. This has been a challenging matter for Yannick and his team and underscores the need for players and their entourages to take utmost care in the use of products or treatments. Integrity is paramount in our sport. So there you have it. That is the fallout and the player's response to the situation with Sinner. Seems like Kiros and Shapovalov are not really happy with the fact that Sinner is able to be able to, you know, be able to play and none of this has come out. I mean, we, nobody heard about this in April when it, or in March when it happened. So it's been very, very secretive, it feels like. And I think a lot of people feel like that it should have been announced when it happened, you know, and it should have been talked about when it happened. A lot of comparisons with the Simona Halep situation. You know, you can make your comparisons with that. But according to the Tennis Channel, the situation as well has been that he's lost 400 points from Indian Wells, which doesn't really jeopardize his ranking that much. Fine $325,000. He was also apparently provisionally suspended a couple of times in April. So not for long periods, a couple of days in April when the test kind of came back positive. He was not allowed to play. Luckily, I guess he wasn't playing at the time. It was sort of a break between events after Miami before Monte Carlo. So the timing of things, I guess, was lucky. But let me know down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on this? I know it's a very divisive topic and the players have had their responses regarding the positive test that Sinner had back in March.